Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Frey, and today I'm bringing you 110 gameplay brought to you by Joshua Star 305 Now, he actually obtained this gameplay while I was live streaming. He was in my lobby, we were playing together, he was on my team, of course, and he was in my live stream watching. We successfully paired up and eliminated the other team. Of course, I only scored around 20 kills where he scored a whole lot more. Now, if you guys actually watched the live stream that I uploaded, which you probably can't because YouTube might be having an issue with my live streaming right now, but uh, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, it's towards the end of the live stream, by the way, so if you can, in fact, watch the live stream, it'll be in the description below in the link, so you guys can check it out yourself. I was pretty, uh, I was flipping out, guys, I gotta be honest, I was flipping out when this guy was going towards 100, I just couldn't wait till he broke 100, and when he did, he broke it hard, because he went at 110. He was really effective, this gameplay, you guys gotta check out his channel, Joshua Star 305 he is part of the C4K clan, as you can see, uh, and he is just an absolute beast, you guys gotta definitely try to add him. He, of course, you can see his name right there when he gets all the kills, and you can, of course, bother him and bug him to add you because he's such a beast that he will take your team to victory every single time. And I gotta be honest, when I was in this game, we played a couple games, and he looked just like any ordinary player. Of course, he always came out the top of the leaderboard, but it wasn't all that fantastic. But then, blam! Amazing gameplay so amazing in fact that I was just completely aghast. I had never even scored a hundred kills gameplay in this particular Call of Duty so I was really happy and the fact is I've never even been in a game where someone has scored a hundred so I'm really happy that I was actually able to experience this and I'm here bringing the experience to you guys so with that said let's go ahead and talk about Wii U achievements. As you guys know the Wii U has no sort of award system. Meanwhile, the PS3 has an award system. The Xbox 360 has an award system. The uh, what Ubisoft I think has their own award system. So does Steam, and apparently some a few cars. Yeah, even cars have achievements and Wii U has none. So of course there's achievements on a lot of things and on a lot of consoles and many of the consoles are pretty big. Except apparently not the Wii U. I don't even know if the Ouya has achievements. It probably does though. I mean it doesn't take very long for developers to put them on there and I'm pretty sure considering they're already done they're pretty easy to port over. But Nintendo doesn't have an actual structure for it yet apparently. Uh, whether or not they actually implement one soon is gonna be uh, something to see. Every update that happens, I actually wait patiently and then open my eyes and see whether or not they're finally gonna add in achievements. And every single time, I am left disappointed because I personally love achievements. I know some people say, oh, they're useless, they really serve no purpose, I really don't mind and or notice when I get an achievement well you're not looking at your achievements big enough because when you look back when you're 60 or 75 years old and you look back you want to think of your accomplishments you want to think of your achievements and thanks to Xbox PS3 Steam you can actually find them right there on your computer your or your console how convenient is that you don't even have to think about it you have Alzheimer's big deal you can just freaking load up the thing you don't have to remember anything you just look at it and you know you got the achievement maybe you can remember stuff and it's just nostalgic so I really like it and it's really fun too you're playing a game you get a quad you didn't even notice it was a quad but this nice achievement that says you got a quad totally lets you know you got a quad for example I was playing I chucked a grenade and left for dead I got a certain amount of zombies killed with it wait was it a grenade? what am I even talking about no I exploded something I can't recall what and yeah it was a pipe bomb there you go not a grenade threw a pipe bomb killed a large mob of the zombies and actually got an achievement I wasn't prepared for it and I was pleasantly surprised when I got it yes I got rewarded for being a badass thank you steam for recognizing it I really like achievements because, of course, it's nice to show off that you got this particular achievement of earning uh, a tr gold trophy on every single level in Call of Duty because you did it on Veteran, and of course getting a Platinum trophy because you did it 
in fact, do them all on veteran. That's nice. That's awesome. You get to see your PSN player card. Holy crap, this guy has 135 trophies. He has a lot of games, and he is a beast on all of them. This guy has five trophies. He may or may not have a lot of games. Either way, he's obviously not a true gamer because he only has five. So I really, I, I don't know. I'm just a really big fan of it. I like being awarded. I like being uh, randomly challenged. And, of course, it does add a lot more replayability to the game. You go back after you finish a game because you realize you didn't complete this challenge. And in order to get 100%, you need to go back and get this challenge. You get 100%, you get a 100% trophy or achievement. You get recognized for it. Um, you go and play an entire game. You realize that there was a Easter egg that you could have done to get a trophy or an award. You go back and you do it. You realize if you finish the game that if you had killed this guy in the knee instead of the face, you would have gotten an achievement as well. So you go back and you play just for that little instance, just for that achievement. So I feel like it does add a lot of replayability to the game. And, of course, who doesn't like trophies? Who doesn't like shiny things? Whether they be trophies or achievements, whatever those are, I don't know how they look like, but... <laughs> I would love to see them on Wii U. I love the Wii U and I feel disappointed when it gets left out and even such a small thing like this. So of course I want to hear from you guys. What do you like? Do you like achievements? Do you personally find them irritating or do you really really like them? Do you want them on Wii U or don't you? And why or why not? I want to hear a good argument from you guys. I don't want to hear Wii sucks or Wii U sucks. Or it's most likely Wii sucks because most people just assume that this is still the Wii for some reason. Um, but I want to hear from you guys. I love hearing some feedback on this. And I'm pretty sure Nintendo, assuming they may or may not come across this, would still love hearing what you guys have to say about their console. Because I feel like achievements or trophies are a huge part of the game. Who doesn't like getting awarded for being a badass in a single player or multiplayer game? Who doesn't want to know? I mean, for example, you play Call of Duty Zombies, You compl I completed, or say you complete, the all the easter eggs and all the, the stuff you need to do on Zombies in transit, you do it on PS3, and you do it on Wii U. In one case, you actually get confirmation that you did it correctly, and you get trophies. The other case, you get absolutely gypped. You get nothing, and you feel like you did something wrong, but you don't know, because there's no confirmation you go ahead and do it all over again you still don't get any confirmation so in your head you'll never know whether or not you actually completed it correctly and it'll haunt you to the end of your days so yeah achievements trophies a really big thing people have petitioned for it um, it's yet to be actually been uh, instituted into the Wii U so hopefully it does soon in a future update Achievements have been ad added, or trophies, mind you, have been added in updates previously, so it's definitely possible. And I, I know Nintendo is looked at as a casual console, but even casual gamers would like to get a nice, pleasant surprise saying that, hey, you might think you're casual, but you just aced this game in two seconds flat. Really, you are awesome. Go buy more games. They'll feel like they are awesome, and they'll freaking try to be pro gamers. I mean, who doesn't want to be a pro gamer? Getting played or paid to play games. That's awesome. So, that's just my two cents on this. I hope you guys liked the video. Please share your feedback and uh, thank you for watching. But of course, go check out Joshua Star 305's game play on his channel. Assuming he uploads it, I'm not totally sure. But go check out his other gameplays he currently has on his channel. He's really, really wicked sick player, as you can see from here. Usually when I use the Lodestar on that map, it hits trees and everyone survives. As you can see here though, he did not miss trees. He got them all and just annihilated the other team. So go ahead and check out his channel, guys. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Thank you for watching.